Hello everyone, my name is Tai Segek. I'm a student from Swanapum School Tepon campus and I'm currently in level 11C. So today I'm here to share my methods and techniques in public speaking, especially in debate. So the first step to master in public speaking is that you need to make sure you're not intimidated to speak in front of the public, especially in front of many people. Think of shyness as a delusion made to stop you from doing your best and just start speaking. Remember that what you're saying is based on fact, so don't be afraid to make mistakes or be judged because at the end of the day, you learn from those mistakes and learn to express your opinions more openly on a daily basis so that you can get used to it as well as improving your English along the way. Another way to reducing shyness is to practice speaking with yourself in front of the mirror. That way you can learn to speak more fluently and more naturally. Next step is to read and listen. Of course, you can't just improve your speaking skills with just practicing speaking alone. Reading and listening are additional aid for improvement. When you read any kinds of articles or watch any kinds of videos, you develop a sense of natural tone and you get adapted to it. It can help you understand English better to another level, especially when talking to native speakers and imitating their accent. When it comes to debate, teamwork and organization are really important. Teamwork allows us to share ideas, responsibilities, the right to vote which idea is the best, to discuss and form rebuttals, and so on. After this, we divide our responsibilities and assign specific tasks according to each speaker's position to do more research on the topic. And when we do our research, we focus mainly on our main points and then continue to look for evidence that support our ideas and details and references come after. Moreover, we also received a lot of help from our mentor. He was the one that showered us with ideas, ways to improve, as well as details that we could have missed. He also helped us practice our speech and correct our flaws along the way. So having a good mentor is really significant. Here at our school, he's the one that uh, manages programs and students in this field, like the public speaking club that the school has started for students to improve their skills in speaking, like the use of persuasion and critical thinking. After that, I'm going to share my methods and techniques in studying English in general. So the basic and for most skills every student needs are speaking, writing, reading, and listening. Speaking, practice speaking with yourself in front of the mirror. Writing, write down about your day in a diary or notes. Reading, read books or news to be more informative. And lastly, listening, watch movies or films without subtitles and try to understand what they are saying. These are the efficient ways to improve your own English by yourself. Next is having self-confidence. Having self-confidence helps you in many ways in your learning. Don't be shy to speak or make mistakes in front of people. Don't be scared to ask questions whenever you don't understand something. Because keeping to yourself won't help you improve, it will only drag you down. Try to observe the outstanding students and follow what they do. That's another way to enhance your learning ability. Furthermore, making what you're learning seem interesting by having fun while learning is also really important. You need to have an interest in something for you to be able to achieve it. That's why you need to know the purpose and the reason why you're really learning. And remember that you're not learning just to pass the exam, but to gain actual knowledge. When you enjoy the learning process, it makes you more willing to study and more engaged in the activity. And at night, ask yourself what knowledge you have gained and if you're satisfied with it. If not, then study more. Besides that, learning doesn't only come from books or schools. It can also come from the outside world like the internet. Lastly, I would like to drop a meaningful quote which is the best way to predict the future is to create it. It means that the future is not unpredictable because it is a result of what you do. By knowing what you want and what you are willing to do to get them, you can shape what the future holds. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. เวสสัตว์ซาฟารีนักพิศาอังกฤษตู้เต้อโจเรียนไทยทีม